watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Caitlin, and this is Lou. Welcome to our Upper West Side apartment. Sailor and I am a content creator in New York City. My day to day is really, I, I do a lot of home content, um, which is why we're here. And I film a lot of my house and I work with brands and um, a lot of times I take pictures and videos for them showcasing their pieces in my home. Um, and I love it. This is Lou Sailor. She's a French bulldog and she is my best friend. And she also fits, um, fits in with the home decor perfectly. The apartment is like around 1,000, 1,100 square feet. Um, it's a two bedroom, one bath. Um, it's a pretty small kitchen and there's no real dining room, but um, you know, I've made this living area kind of the living room, dining room-ish area. And yeah, it's perfect. It's just me and my husband and Lou. Um, and so it's a, it's a perfect size for us. So my husband and I moved to New York from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, we grew up in Houston, Texas, but we've been in Raleigh for the past 10 years. Um, when the pandemic happened, we both ended up working from home and there was just really no reason that we had to stay in Raleigh. Um, we came to New York for a month, like just to kind of try it out. And literally by like the night, um, our first night in New York, we were trying to figure out a way to move here permanently um, and long term. And we ended up renting out our house um, in Raleigh and finding a way to make it up here. And we actually rented our house in Raleigh furnished. So we moved up here with like literally a bed, a mattress, and a blow up couch from Amazon. Um, so everything, you know, we had to get new and um, start fresh uh, decorating this place. So this is our entryway. It's, you know, not a big space, but it's, it, I really wanted to make it um, kind of its own little area, obviously. And I wanted, so this piece of art I used as like the basis for the whole design in here. And so I used like big bold colors, obviously like blues and greens. Um, and so this piece of art is by my little brother um, who passed away of childhood cancer. And when I was, he was 14, I was 20. Um, and he did it in fifth grade. It's literally just like construction paper and like Elmer's glue and like glitter. Um, but my mom framed it like years ago. And then when we moved here, I kind of like refound it. It wasn't hung up anywhere. And I reframed it and, you know, decorated around it and it like just makes me really happy and I absolutely love it and I get asked online a lot like where did I get it, where did I get it from and like who did it and like oh my god like literally a fifth grader did it um so it makes me you know smile every time I come in here and I just love like the story behind it you know a lot of the house is like pink and pastels um but I really just loved the the like kind of cobalty blue in this and the green um and I so I pulled those colors out and I love this rug it's a ruggable so you know New York shoes uh get pretty dirty so I can like easily wash it um and th this was a, a Facebook marketplace find this this glass table um and then this is kind of like our catch-all and like sunglass wallet area um, and this was the first area that we did molding in um, so could use some touch-ups but that's okay um, and then my plug-in sconces because we don't hardware anything in a, in a rental in New York and I really love the way that this little entryway turned out um, and I almost kind of wish I had more bold colors like this elsewhere in the house but um, that's okay we'll get there eventually. I think the thing I love most about this apartment um, is our view. It's not, you know, a, it's not a Central Park view or anything, but it's very New York view. Um, the buildings are just like cute and I just, I love waking up to it and um, I love it at night. I love seeing the reflection of the lights in my mirrors at night. Um, and so it just makes me really happy and it, you know, just reminds me every day I get to live here. 
So from the entryway, you come into the living room slash dining room area. Um, it's a pretty big room and it gets pretty good light. Um, so this is like our little, you know, dining room here area and my husband travels a lot so we don't eat together a whole lot during the week but when we do um he cooks and we do use this table and eat here um so it's a perfect little spot for just you know two people uh so that worked out nicely here's the rest of everything um this piece is is one of my favorite pieces um it's from scout design studio in dallas and i absolutely love everything they do they were like a big inspiration for me i love the way it's like if you can tell it's 3d hair <laughs> The, the butterflies and somebody hand cut all of those, um, which I just think is really cool. So this is not original to the apartment. This is um, a mantle that I bought um, off Facebook Marketplace actually. And actually got it from Josh Young who is an incredible artist and I found his partner I think trying to sell it on Facebook marketplace and I recognized the photos and I was like is this is that of the actual mantle because I know that that's Josh Young's photo and he was like no it's the actual mantle if you google books in mantle like his photos, like the first thing to populate on Google. Um, so I got super lucky with that and I picked it up um, when we were driving from Raleigh to here. I picked it up in DC on the way um, and it fit perfectly. I love it. I tiled the back myself um, and then did the fun colorful books from uh, a thrift store. And this turned out, I, I it took me a while. I actually like just got it to where I wanted it yesterday, <laughs> um, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. So the back is peel and stick tile and I did it on some poster board so it wouldn't rip up the wall when I take it down. Um, and it, it turned out pretty, it look, it makes it, I didn't want it to look super fake. Um, like I, you know, got this off Facebook marketplace and put it here. Uh, so yeah, I think it looks more, you know, like it, it was originally here. So my pill coasters are like, my favorite thing um they're from etsy and they're real pills and some of them even have glitter in them and i just love them i also love my popsicles um i always get a lot of questions about those and they're just little acrylic popsicles i love okay so this is my gallery wall obviously and it started out as a travel wall of all the places my husband and i have traveled to um and <laughs> I kind of stopped adding a while ago, so there are some trips that are definitely not on here. But um, like this is Costa Rica, um, Amalfi Coast, Amsterdam. Had a you know shout out to Waterburger because we are Texas natives, um, and yeah, Hawaii, Houston, Jamaica, Asheville. So yeah, I, I love. And then our our frame TV kind of rounds it all out. No, I did not take any of these. These are actually all from Etsy. Um, and that's Miami. Um, this is Paris. Um, so yeah, I, I get them all. I get most of my art from Etsy and frame it myself. These are just like cheap Amazon frames and it just, the matting and everything makes them look more expensive than they are, which I love. So I'm definitely, you know, not the first to do any of these, you know, renter friendly upgrades, but it's, it's actually really easy. The molding, um, is, is, you know, really light and all you have to do is cut it and it's on there with double sided mounting tape. And my husband is thankfully good at math. So he, you know, measured it all out and you know, made all the, the sizing and everything. And then we just did it. Like it took a couple weekends, um, but we knocked it out and we did it in pretty much every room in the apartment. Um, and it looks like I, I, I just wanted it to look original. Um, and I think it does. So I think it just like adds another element to, you know, a plain white wall. Okay, so this is <laughs> our painted mirror. And I promise Raleigh's Boring is not a literal, um, you know, saying it's an ironic saying that Raleigh, we're from Raleigh, so we can use it. And it is um, an ironic saying that Raleigh people say, I think it was like as a joke to keep Charlotte people out or something like that. Um, but it is just kind of like a little ironic saying because Raleigh is not boring, I promise. Um, and this mirror <laughs> cracked. Um, it was, it sat in my car and it cracked in, in heat. And so I was going to toss it and my husband was like, why don't we get an artist to do something on it? And it turned out, you know, really cool. It's one of my favorite things, um, in the house, but 
you know, if people see it online from Raleigh and without context and they don't know what it is, like they will roast me. So I just like needed to explain um, that we do not think Raleigh is boring. Raleigh is not boring. We love Raleigh. So this is something um, I was out with my mom and I found it. It's it's a perfume that like I don't think they make it anymore because I do get some questions about where I got it. But it's it was from a vintage shop um, and it is real perfume. Um, I have smelled it and it, it's not you know my kind of perfume um but i think it's like you know pretty old um but i just thought it was cool and the shape of the bottle was was pretty and it and it covers up my crack in the mirror so now let's go to the kitchen okay so this is our kitchen um it's not you know super big but it's not too tiny as far as new york city kitchens go um i do not spend much time in here so i just wanted to make it cute and that was pretty much it um we use this fun wallpaper and their New York City coffee cups that you get like at a bodega and I just loved it. Um, obviously I'm a pink girly so I had to do that in here. Um, these cabinets <laughs> were brown and I actually contact papered the cabinets. Um, it comes off easily. My landlord is fine with it. It is not going to rip off anything so everything was cool but they are actually this color um, and it just kind of clashed with the wallpaper so I wanted them white and just to kind of brighten things up in here um, and it was a lot of work to contact paper all of these it took like I, I think I did the math because each door took like over an hour um, and there are like 20 doors so not to mention the drawers and the every and everything else it was a big project but it was totally worth it because it just brighten things up in here a whole lot and it definitely needed it. Um, I also did peel and stick tile on the floor. Um, the tile was just kind of old beige, you know, yuck, New York City kitchen tile. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, make it fun. And I, I loved like the pattern on pattern um, look and, you know, it, it's a lot. My husband is like, it's like an acid trip sometimes in here, but I love it. Um, and it just is really fun and unique. So I door dash like way too much, um, but my husband does use it. Um, and I, oh, I make chicken nuggets in the, in the oven sometimes, so I can do that. Um, and I can boil water for mac and cheese, but other than that, I door dash if he's not here. Um, but it's perfect for one person cooking. Um, and then I come in and clean up. So I do, I do help. So what I really wanted was a blank slate and that's what this place was. Um, I, you know, like I said, we came here with not much decor wise or furniture wise. Um, so I, you know, really started fresh and I added a lot of renter friendly, um, you know, DIYs. Um, the molding we did, we did some wallpaper, peel and stick wallpaper in the kitchen. I changed all the light fixtures. I changed um, all the faucets, you know, the fixtures in the, in the kitchen, like anything that you could possibly do to a rental, I did it um, while being mindful of my landlord and not, you know, making permanent changes. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So this is a two bedroom apartment. Um, I am not going to show you the second bedroom today. It's, I like to call it the Amazon warehouse because it is just like where we stuff everything I didn't want you to see today. Um, it is filled with returns and extra furniture and you know anything else you could possibly imagine. But um, we will get there and when we get there I'll show you, but not today. So now we're gonna come into my bedroom. Um, this is one of my favorite rooms. Uh, it's probably my favorite room in the house just because it is so bright. Our rooms, uh, that one, <laughs> the Amazon warehouse and this room are really good sized rooms. Um, I had like, you know, really wanted a king. Um, and so I, I was really lucky that we could fit a king in here and like have plenty of space uh, around it. <laughs> yeah, so this is my, my favorite New Yorker cover that my dad got me for Christmas last year. It's a pissed off Frenchie with, with shoes on what, you know, what more. How more New York can you get? <laughs> so I wanted this space to be a little bit more um, traditional and, and just like super tranquil, relaxing, girly, soft. 
um, softer than than the living room. And I stuck with a lot of white. Um, I, not, I really didn't paint much. I, I painted the bathroom, um, but I, I really liked the white backdrop of everything because I do use, you know, a decent amount of color. Um, so I kept everything white, bedding white, furniture white. Um, but it is just. I love coming in here at night. Um, it's just like relaxes me. Um, you know, unfortunately, reality of New York City living is the AC unit um, that, you know, we'll just pretend is not there. Um, but yeah, here's where I get ready. I, I love the light in here. Um, for whatever reason, this is the brightest room, even though like the windows are the same in, in every room. Um, this is some art from some local people in North Carolina um, and always love fresh flowers everywhere. Um, my bodega has really good flowers, so I'm lucky that I have that like a step away. Um, my fig does pretty well in here. It like got stage fright and dropped some leaves the past couple days and I have no idea why, so that was a bummer, but um, she's still holding and hanging in there. She does doesn't have a name. Um, maybe I should name, maybe that's why, what she's pissed about, I don't know. So these pillows are Laura Park Designs, um, which I think she's out of North Carolina actually, but um, I wanted to keep the bedding really simple. We're not tons of throw pillows kind of people. Um, you know, I just wanted to be able to take a couple pillows off and crawl into bed. So these, you know, are make a big impact without, you know, having to do too much work making the bed and unmaking the bed. Um, and then just, you know, an easy quilt, um, some art. I love this light fixture. Um, it's kind of a dupe of a really expensive one. This one's from Home Depot. Um, but I was really excited to find that and getting it up was a little bit difficult. My super, uh, Called, said some words um, that I don't think I'm allowed to stay here, but uh, but yeah, it was worth it because I do love it. So this is a print from Reagan Corbett out of, um, I think she's in Dallas as well, but I just, I love it so much. It's, um, you know, smoking's not cool, but this picture is a vibe. So my sense of design, I was trying to think about this question yesterday and it's kind of hard to answer. I've changed so much, like I, I've gone through, you know, I think we were all in the boho stage a couple, you know, years, years ago. Um, and then there's the mid-century, you know, I, I have gone through a bunch of different decor styles throughout the years as I'm sure everybody has, but I just lately have just been buying things that make me smile. Like if I see it online and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's cute, it makes me happy. Um, I buy it and it's all kind of just come together nicely, thankfully. Um, I think eclectic might be a word. Um, definitely modern, but also some traditional elements I like. It's girly, as you can see, it's very girly. And luckily my husband is okay with that. Um, it's a lot of pink, I know, and it'd probably be too too much for some husbands, but he's happy with it and, you know, has no complaints about that. Um, but yeah, just happy, I think, is the number one word I would use. It, it just, like, makes me smile and hopefully makes other people smile. So the word home means, like, a safe place for me. I think especially in the city, um, you know, if you're out all day and, like, in the middle of everything, the hustle and bustle of New York. Um, this apartment, as soon as I step in the, in the door, um, I just feel like safe and calm and I love that feeling. Um, sometimes I, I work from home, so sometimes I'm like here all day and I'm like, oh, I just wanna like get the heck out of here. Um, and then as soon as I leave and then come back, I'm like, oh, like just the sigh of relief that I feel um, when I'm inside the apartment and it makes me really happy that I've kind of, it's taken a while, but I, I feel like I'm finally there to where I'm like, feels like home, it's decorated the way I want it to be, and I'm just like overall happy with it. Thanks for watching. For more home-worthy content, be sure to like and subscribe.